Have you guys ever run into this problem? You recorded some good audio on a decent microphone. You meant to sync it up with your camera in DaVinci Resolve before you dropped it in your timeline and cut it all up, right? But you forgot to sync up the good audio. And now you've got a timeline with a whole bunch of cuts in it and you don't have your good audio attached. So what do you do? Do you have to re-edit the whole thing? Nah, you don't have to do that. I got a tip for you that's gonna save you a ton of time, allow you to sync up that good audio with all of your cuts really quick and easy. Let's jump in Resolve, check it out. So here I'm in DaVinci Resolve. I've already cut up all my clips here in my timeline. I think I'm good to go. Then I realize, ah, oh, I forgot to sync up the good audio with my video clip. So if I just use the audio that's in the clip, here's what it sounds like. All the time here in a power bin, for example, the YouTube logo, no good, we don't like that. So here's what we gotta do. I'm gonna come into my media pool, select my video clip, my talking head. I'm also gonna select my good audio. I'm gonna right click and come down to auto sync audio based on waveform. Resolve's gonna do its thing and sync them up. So now if I come and select my video clip, right click, we come down to clip attributes, and we look under the audio section, now we can see that we have our linked audio as the source for that particular clip. And if I click the drop down, you see we still have that embedded audio, but now we've got the linked audio. But the problem is this, we have it linked in the media pool, but down in my timeline, if I just select a clip here, I'm gonna right click, come to clip attributes. When I look at the source channel, it's still using the embedded audio, which I don't wanna do. So I could go to each clip and right click, come to the clip attributes and change it to link channel one and link channel two. But the easier way to do it is do it all at once. So I'm gonna just select all of my clips here that need to have that changed. I'm gonna right click, clip attributes. Under source channel here, I'm gonna go embedded one, I'm gonna make that linked channel one. And then under embedded channel two, I'm gonna make that linked channel two. That's it, hit okay. Boom, all those clips are now gonna get changed and are gonna have that good audio synced up with it. Now it might take a moment for the waveforms to regenerate there because they're cached, so it might take a second. Now if we play through, we should hear our good audio from my MKE 600. I'll go, it looks pink, what's going on with that? Or I've got the DaVinci, there we go, we are good to go. We've got our good audio synced up with our video. Now we don't have to go back and change anything. You're good to go, just keep on editing, finish up that video. Now you will have to adjust your levels if you need to boost it a little, and in my case, typically I do. So you can go ahead and edit your audio however you need to, and you should be good to go. So if you forget to sync your good audio with your video like I do sometimes, don't worry about it. There's a quick fix for you. Get you back on the right track in no time. So if you like this video, you wanna learn a little bit more about audio or just general DaVinci Resolve stuff, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already because I would love to see you around here a little more often. Any questions, drop a comment below and I'll try and get back to you as quick as I can. With that said guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Peace.